Hello, welcome back from spring break. Hopefully this video finds you in good health. Today is April 5th. Uh, it's Monday and it definitely feels like a Monday, especially coming right off, uh, right off of spring break. So uh, for self start today, students are just going to be talking about what they kind of did for spring break. Um, just to kind of you know get to know their friends and stuff again. So uh, math jokes, there you go. For information, again, spring break just finished. Hopefully that kind of rejuvenated some of you and kind of getting you guys ready for what's to come here pretty soon. So um, leather, I'm having a hard time talking. You can tell it's a Monday. Uh, another piece of information that you might want to know, parent-teacher conferences are next Wednesday. So if you want your report cards to look good or you know anything like that, please make sure to have any late assignments or feedback retakes done by Friday. Uh, that way we can get the grades and stuff updated for you. So uh, For today, we've talked about the self-start. We're going to be introducing and starting a brand new unit of surface area. So to help us do that, we have some vocabulary that we need to know. We need to know what surface area means. It's how much stuff covers the outside. Think of it uh, like wrapping paper. How much wrapping paper would be needed to cover it? Uh, you need to know what faces are. We talked about these during uh, volume at the beginning of the school year. Faces are just another way of uh, saying sides. You need to know what a prism is. A prism has two end faces that are equal. So think of a cereal box. So the top and the bottom are equal, they're the same. A polygon, some examples of those would be octagons, hexagons, pentagons, stuff like that. Uh, base is just the bottom and you'll need to know what dimensions are. Dimensions are just the measurements for each of the faces. So for this, again, you'll need to know how to find area for these types of shapes, rectangles, triangles, and polygons. The big thing is to count the number of sides the item has and add up the area of all the sides. So you have to find area for one of the sides and then the other 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 and then add them all up at the end. So how do you find area of a rectangle? This hopefully is review for you. To find area of a rectangle, it is going to be length times the height. So if I'm given this example, I would do my length, which is eight times my height, which is three, and I'm gonna get 24. So now, how do I find area of a triangle? Well, a triangle, we have to do length times height divided by two, or you could say base times height divided by two. The big thing to remember, just like in volume, is don't forget to divide it by two. So if I'm given this shape here, my length is gonna be six, my height is going to be seven, so when I multiply those, I get 42. But remember, don't forget to divide by 2. And that gives me 21. There we go. Okay. So for today's activity, students in the classroom are going to be uh, measuring different boxes and figuring out how to find the surface area for these boxes. So those of you at home, obviously you can't participate in the in-class activity. So what I would encourage you to do is go to Canvas. There's going to be an activity worksheet that says Surface Area Explore. And it's going to look like this. And I would encourage you to find boxes around your house and practice using a ruler measuring the dimensions for each one of the faces and then writing it down. So, I mean, go to your pantry and find a cereal box or a box of rice a or maybe there's a shipping box or something like that. And then measure the top, the bottom, the left, the right, the front, the back, and then add them all together. Remember that with each one of these faces, you're going to be multiplying the length times the height. So don't forget that. So to do the top, I have to do length times height, get my answer and write it here. 
bottom, length times height, write my answer here. So remember that it's going to be length times height. Sometimes students will forget and just do the length and put the length here, and that's not correct. So you have to figure out the length times the height for each one of these faces, and then add them together at the end. So I would encourage you to do that at home. Um, it is not a homework ass assignment, but it will get you some practice uh, for when you get back uh, to cover surface area. Uh, if you have any questions, you're welcome to contact teachers, uh, email or Canvas. Otherwise, have a great day, guys, and we'll see you back soon enough.